Hello and welcome to this tour of number 17 Gainsborough Close here in Woodley. It's a gorgeous sunny day. Um, I wouldn't normally apologise for the sun but uh, as you can probably tell it is pointing straight into the camera lens so I apologise for that. So what we have here is a stunning three bedroom semi-detached, lovely condition um, and uh, a property certainly that uh, I don't think many people would need to do any work to prior to moving in. I'm just going to show you the location first of all. So we're in a quiet cul-de-sac. That's the end of the cul-de-sac just there. As you can see this property is fairly close to the end of the cul-de-sac, hence the very quiet location. The entrance to Gainsborough Close is just here on the left hand side via Stonehaven Drive. Just point out where the lamppost is on the right hand side. There's a pathway leading there through to Vauxhall Park and also giving a short walk through to shops which are at the Lock Valley Centre. As you can see, garage integral um, approach by the drive. Let's show you inside through the front door. We've got a porch here. I'm just going to turn around and show you that porch as it's easier this way. There's the front door, um, replacement front door, quite a nice attractive door. Double glazed sealed unit window with UPVC to the left there. And um, just point out that all the windows in this property are double glazed sealed units, UPVCs. We've also got gas radiator central heating as well. So the lounge, um, you can see we've got a focal point there. It's a sort of a Kind of like a false chimney breast really but with a recess for the tv as you can see and a, and a sort of a focal point beneath we've got uh, laminate flooring in this room let me just step back and point that out there's the laminate flooring quite a nice wood effect and towards the corner there door leading through to the kitchen storage cupboard just there and then the staircase to the first floor i'm just going to spin round and just give you another view of the lounge. As you'll see with this house, decorated to a really good standard, very nicely presented. Uh, worth pointing out the doors, and this door to my left here, the doors have been replaced with oak panel doors, and that's throughout the house. So here we have at the back of the house the kitchen diner, there's the dining area with the double French doors leading to the garden and then the kitchen itself modern units with a built-in oven just ahead of me um, four ring gas hob above all the appliance space you need there's a fridge freezer space just to my left but also of course washing machine and dishwasher space as well inset sink unit with a swan neck mixer tap and uh, the rear window in the corner here we've got a door to the side access and then another door there which is an understairs storage cupboard. In the kitchen here we've got um, nice modern down lighters as you can see and then last but not least a nice tiled floor. The whole kitchen diner is the tiled floor. So let's now step back into the lounge here and uh, I'll take you and show you the first floor. Three bedrooms, three good sized bedrooms actually and also a very nice modern bathroom suite uh, it's a four-piece bathroom suite, slightly unusual. Um, I'll show you the bedrooms first. Um, but uh, actually, initially, I'll show you the landing because it's quite a big landing. As you can see, we've got a half landing window there. It's a turning staircase. Show you from this angle as well. I mentioned about the oak doors. And also on the landing, we've got access to roof space there ahead of me. Okay, so first of all, the master bedroom. That's gonna be at the front of the house. That's this one here. As you can see, a nice size double bedroom. Front aspect with a double glazed window. And to my left-hand side on this wall here, plenty of space for wardrobes. Those are actually freestanding wardrobes, those one. And again, a laminate flooring. So that's the master bedroom. We have here the second bedroom at the rear of the house. Again, you just need the radiator under the window, double glazed sealed unit. Again, laminate flooring just under the rug there. Not sure if the camera is really showing it, but uh, 
certainly a, a double bedroom, plenty of space for a double bedroom and all the usual furniture. And then the third bedroom. Now, three bedroom properties often have a third bedroom as a box room. This one certainly isn't. As you can see, it's a sort of home office and a dressing room as well. But if I step into the room and just spin round, I would point out this is a triple wardrobe standing here, which is pretty unusual in a third bedroom. But we do also have the laminate floor. And then last but not least, on this level, we have the bathroom. So refitted, really nice, and a four piece suite. So first of all, I'll step into the room and focus on the actual shower in the corner here. This shower is a power shower unit, decent sized shower. The panel bath, just there. The wash basin to my right, and then of course the Lolo with WC. All tiled, rear aspect window, there's a radiator to my left as well, and also tiled flooring. So as you can see, um, a lot of work's been put into this house, presented very nicely. Nice kitchen, nice bathroom. It just remains for me to show you the rear garden now. Location-wise, we're very close to Dinton Pastures. Uh, facilities um, such as shops, buses, very close, and also within the Wayne Jules College catchment. So the rear garden, a bit, all, bit difficult to show you with that sun coming at me, but it shows it's a south-facing garden. Um, nicely laid to lawn with flower beds, full width paved patio here, and I'm just gonna wander down the garden, show you the deck patio here in the corner, and then the rear of the house. Okay, so that's the rear of the house. Uh, to my right hand side of the house there, you've got a side gate leading to the front, so there's a side access. And that just about brings us to the end of the tour of this house. If you have any questions, my name is Gary Waite. You can contact me, the number's on the website. Um, also, if you would like to take a viewing, then again, it's the same telephone number and request a viewing appointment. So thank you for watching.